Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm in the warehouse here. I haven't talked to you guys for a little bit, so I thought I would do a quick video uh, about something that I thought was fucking hilarious. So as most of you guys know, my stand-up comedy special came out last week. It's called Death Threats Don't Scare Me. You can download it or stream it on my website right now. It's fucking really good if you like dark stand-up comedy. Now, someone who I guess maybe doesn't like dark stand-up comedy is the Australian government. So if you don't know, in Australia, if you want to release uh, a DVD or a movie or a TV series or anything like that that you're going to sell, you need to get it rated. Now our rating system here in Australia is notorious for being quite out of touch and very, very strict and conservative. So when they saw my stand-up comedy, I think I broke the system. This is what I got back from the Australian Classification Review Board. It's a form filled out with every single instance of me doing or saying something horrible. So here's the main chart. This is everything that they've filled out. And as you can see, it's full. So we had uh, adult themes, yes. Violence, no, unfortunately. Sex, yes. I think that's sexual references. I don't think I fuck anybody during my act. If, if I did, I didn't remember that part of the show. Uh, language, yes. Drug use, yes. I think that's drug references, because I wasn't like, I wasn't like mainlining heroin in the middle of my jokes. Actually, I'm not happy about that, man. They've made it sound like I was doing drugs on stage. Like, it sounds like I just got on stage and was like, hey guys, welcome to the show. This is my comedy special. I'm going to tell some jokes. But before I do that, I just want to heat up my spoon. Like, no, I didn't do that shit, all right? It's a stand-up comedy show, not a Demi Lovato concert. Nudity, no. So there you go. I wasn't rooting anyone and I wasn't like smoking meth in between each sentence. So basically all of these boxes have been ticked and then you get down to in more detail. So this is the uh, crude language section of uh, the form. Frequent usage of adult language throughout the entire comedy special from start to finish, including but not limited to several instances of the words cunt, fuck, Fucking shit pissing hell. That sounds like an amazing chorus to a really hectic death metal album. And look, not many people would be proud of this, but I think this is one of my crowning accomplishments. This is my favorite part of the language section. The special also includes a single instance of the comedian directly pointing at an audience member and calling them a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I do remember doing that, and uh, I don't regret it at all because that person was being a cunt. <laughs> I can't believe that a bunch of people have had to sit down in an office and watch my jokes and then transcribe all of the horrible shit that I talk about. Next, we're on to adult themes. So, what they've written is they've written, the special contains adult themes throughout the entire recording, including jokes about recent tragedies as well as those in the past, jokes and references to the Holocaust, masturbating, accidental deaths, racism, dementia, mental illness and mental disability, famine, alcoholism, drug abuse, pedophilia, physical disability, torture, death and vegans. <laughs> I don't know why vegans is in the adult themes. I mean, I don't know why you can stack up pedophilia and vegans in like the same category. I mean, maybe they both fuck kids. I don't really know. I've never lived a vegan lifestyle, but I don't know why they're in there with all of the other horrible topics. But hey, I don't know. Maybe they're just as easily triggered as Holocaust victims and people who have died from accidental deaths. Actually, no, those people are already dead. But you know what? They would look less dead than the fucking vegans. <laughs> And finally, the sexual references category. Uh, they've written, the special contains sexual themes at the beginning and the end of the performance, including jokes and physical representations of both masturbating and lesbian sex, as well as one joke about pedophilia. Mm. Actually, I think, I think there's two. There's, there's, there's more than one. There's two. So they missed one. I snuck, I snuck one under the radar <laughs> there. So, guys, if, if you are wondering about what my stand-up comedy is like, uh, it's basically that. Like, I, I agree with all of that. I think they were spot on. It was a really good review. Uh, and uh, I'm just, I, hey, I'm just really happy that I got to get three old dudes in a suit, watch my comedy special, and then transcribe the horrible shit that I said. So if you want to get Death Threats Don't Scare Me, it is uh, on my website to stream or download right now. You can watch it. I think it's really fucking good and it's definitely the best thing that I've ever done in my life. I really do think that you will 
fucking love my stand-up comedy special if you like anything that I do online. So really, I think you should just go and get it. It's only five bucks, you stream it or download it, and it's fucking really good. Actually, just before I go, I would like to add a little disclaimer about the comedy special. Just reading through what the classification board has sent me, uh, I'm pretty sure this means that if you enjoy the special and you laugh at all of the jokes, you're probably, you're probably gonna go to hell. But um, hey, I wrote the joke, so I'll save a seat for you and we can enjoy them again when we get there. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Grab my comedy special at the link below and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>